I am on a mission and my mission will be successful. We have a mission to eat. Yes, of There is nothing anybody can tell me. Double K, Cassia and Kelly Ray are treading on a very, very, very dangerous path. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Lucy's Quick One Talking the Big Brother and I just season 9 And here I am, I'm just passing by Based on one or two things I just observed You know me, I'm just I told you I'll be giving you updates But I'll be passing by based on one or two things But guys, are you seeing the top players? Let's say this is just day 3 But there are people that are really playing this game And I'm here to tell you these people In case you have not noticed them The very first I would like to say pair playing the game but right now even in the pair there are some people that are playing the game better than the other and it's, it's very expected the very first top player right now for me in my books is Cassia from the pair double K now in case you don't know in case you have not been watching Big Brother and you're wondering who Cassia is Cassia is a pair uh, with a guy called Kelly Ray now Cassia and Kelly Ray in real life according to them are married they say they said they were they dated for 10 years and now they are they are married and they've been married for i think a year and they decided that their own strategy is to go into the house as besties and not to reveal that they are a couple but right now based on how the playing is going based on what i'm watching cassia is the only one playing the game now she is getting will i say a bit comfortable or she's trying to form an, a kind of alliance with a guy called Toby and you will see that once in a while these guys are always like together or apparently Toby kind of like likes her and is trying to get to know her and she's just going with the flow based off of the fact that she and her husband agreed that they will be besties in the house however people have been talking about Kelly Ray because somehow he's been very chilled people have been saying that oh he's jealous oh he's chilled but after their very first diary session today I realized that probably from what he's saying he felt that he disappointed his fans when he came in he didn't really give the right vibe and now he's trying to like warm up into the house you know how people can be very different where some people can go into a new environment and quickly you know adapt while some are taking their time according to kelly ray he's taking his time while cassia is just quiet and she's just like you know playing the game trying to get to know people and she's playing the game right now it looks like she and toby are they are an item and i'm wondering how kelly ray is really taking this thing however with their game about them not being a couple i don't think they are hiding it well that's because people have begun to suspect that they might be more than besties now we have people like dj flo and ruthie who have made it one of their missions to find out whether or not these guys are a couple and then we also have chinwe and zion who have also made it a mission to find out who these guys are but however when it comes to double k i would say the top player for me is cassia from double k that's pair one but i'll also like to add that i think that kelly ray is a bit emotional and he needs to like move that emotions aside if he wants to stay in that game or cover up the fact that they are married i don't know how long they'll be able to pull this off let me know what you think about this guys in the comment section now my second pair of top players <laughs> this girl makes me laugh her name is oyeka from the pair the checkers now <laughs> oyeka um, she's in the house with her sister called chizoba but you see Oyeka, everybody is calling her from, I mean, we the audience, people have tagged her everywhere you go because she's always like talking. But don't you guys realize that this is her strategy? What Oyeka is trying to do is, she's trying to be very friendly with everybody. She's trying to form an alliance with everybody so that when it's time for elimination, eviction, you know, they will not be calling her because they'll be like, oh, this one is our guy, that kind of thing. So you see Oyeka, in case you haven't been watching the show, you see Oyeka she's talking with one person now before you know she's talking to another person and somehow what she also does is that she will take the gist of one person like maybe mayo and take the gist to the boys maybe mikey and sometimes she will try to talk to the mbadiwe twins and then she will take mbadiwe twins story and move just to try to see how she can form a connection with other housemates because apparently the housemates they don't really know each other they are still getting to know each other However, her strategy can be very, how will I put it now, very dicey and very tricky because if people realize that this is how she is or if, if people think that oh she's like a gossip, it might not really end well for her. But if she's able to pull this strategy well, 
she will be able to form the alliance and keep she and her sister that's the checkers in the game for the longest she's just the life of the party in my own opinion and i see her as somebody who's just trying her best to just use her brain and not her heart but her sister on the other hand that's chizoba is already like liking somebody in the house already who is ben we will this strategy from chizoba will it favor the checkers i think we're going to find out but they are my top number two when it comes to the top players let's say just this i know it's the two but the top players right now guys let's give it to you on your card if you do not agree let me know why in the comment section now my third pair of top players definitely has to be the twins now i'm talking about handy and wani these are the kind of players that we like to call the unseen the underdogs now let me, in case you do not understand let me, let me explain to you now handy and wani are identical twins and these guys are just like vibing in the house but after watching the very first diary session guys one thing i noticed is that whenever big brother asks like ask the other pairs like who are in your good books they, that's where you will hear handy and wani's name or you don't even hear their names their names mentioned at all and i think it's really good because number one they they, they are very unassuming and so if they are asked you know the housemates are asked to like evict a housemate or a pair these guys names will not come to the lips of anybody because they are very honest with me they're not in anybody's face but they are in your face they are so cool yet they are just like chilled i don't know if you understand what i'm saying they are there but they are not there but they are playing their game their game secretly because somehow it just feels like they are vibing they are chill they're all of that having their fun but they know what they are doing i know that it looks like one is somehow it's having something to do with sean however i still think that it's a game and somehow if these twins are really really smart as i see that they are they will be able to like turn the house upside down without anybody knowing like handy will do something and then one will take responsibility like, i don't know if you understand like play the game and entertain the audience it's about entertaining the audience guys and so far i really love the fact that big brother decided that this year they should come in pairs whereby nobody like even if there's going to be a backbiting they are doing it together and you are not so much like alone in the house and then you not have anything like we'll not probably have things like oh i'm depressed or something like that you understand what i'm saying so these guys are my top three pairs if you ask me but i would like to add a little bit of extra why because these guys are also chilled but i'm still watching them you see these guys called the zing waves <laughs> you can see the way i was smiling so watching them then i just i just pass by and just watch them the very first time I saw these guys on a Sunday, and when I was saying, baby, 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 even Big Brother had to say during their diary session that, baby, should I call you baby and baby, and all of that. I like their vibe. So far, I think that they are still trying to, like, begin to play their game. They are very chilled. They are trying to observe and, you know, know people and trying to, like, understand the temperaments of people. So they are not really in your face, but they are in your face. But they are like really chill however i really like to give it to chingwe because she's a very attentive and observant player well first of all say person and that's a very great personality to have with this kind of game so i would say that zion is lucky however both of them complement each other so well because zion is bringing in the strength and she's bringing in the well i don't want to say the brains but she's bringing in that observance and intelligence into the whole game so they will really do well but looking at their relationship in game this is by the side like if you're watching both of them eh you know how people have been saying that singles have been tension on social media like there's a lot of tension in for singles these guys will make you ask god god where <laughs> because you need to see them it's like especially during the diary session in case you don't watch it you have to see when um Chimu was talking to big brother she was like big brother thank you so much for this opportunity and girl was crying and his was like ah, are, are you crying <laughs> Big brother, you're making my baby cry. Summer of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting emotional, baby. <laughs> and I was like, I'm so what? I'm so what? Is it not a game? So I really like, I have my eye on them. And I, that's why I would like to add, uh, um, add them as my extra when it comes to the top players. I can't wait to see what they would, they would give later on. But for now, I'm watching them. I like how observant, like I said, how attentive and observant Chingwe is. And that's why she's saying she's also going to make it her life's mission to uncover the truth about Kelly Ray and Cassia. 
Yeah, they have serious chemistry. Best things also have serious chemistry. Though. Will she be able to uncover the whole thing? I don't know. Will telling Ray and Cassia bow to pressure and just say, you know what, this is not worth it. Let's just tell them we're married and move on and then just gain everybody's trust. We're going to find out. But let me know what you think about this in the comments section, guys. Let me know if you have other top players that I am missing. I am just like you. I'm also watching. So let me know. Let's just, let's, you know, have a conversation in the comment section. I got you in more next time. Till then, do have an amazing time. Remember to enjoy every moment. Mwah.